Yeah, XRAN is a consortium um, that focuses on development, standardization, as well as having open initiative. What open initiative means is that as part of this, XRAN will be publishing specifications, and these specifications will cover not only the user plane, but the control plane, the management plane, but as well as the uh, synchronization plane. The, the, there are two aspects to this. One is that with this spec, you can pick and choose the best of breeds. You can take the best remote radio heads and the best baseband units from different vendors, and they're expected to work. Uh, this spans not only for LTE, but also on the 5G side. And our Samsung approach is that our plan is to introduce products which are fully compliant to XRAM. As part of uh, Verizon Open RAN uh, initiative, one of the key benefits of this is that as Verizon looking to evolve from 4G to 5G, uh, 5G will be um, composed of many, many nodes, a lot much higher density than what, the, what it is today with the 4G macro, sy macro system. So now as part of this is that by virtue of introducing a multi-vendor, now Verizon needs to be shifting completely from a today's paradigm which is composed of having a single vendor responsible for the entire network in terms of key performance indicators as well as going through the process of who would be responsible if there is a uh, problems in the field to a area domain traversing to an area where it might be um, different vendors and how these vendors can work together to provide a unified service.